temperatures. There's a wide look at that storm system moving on through. Yes, we had thunder snow last night in Montgomery County, even in Houston and down to the coast. Incredible stuff. Now we have mainly cloudy skies. This is how much snow we stacked up. Uh, definitely, you know, notable. Three and a half inches of snow in Huntsville, three inches in Kingwood, three inches in Bunker Hill on the west side of Houston, and then Friendswood, about a half inch of sleet. Underneath that snow total, there is a layer of ice. So please be extremely careful if you take your kids outside to play. You know, they could slip very easily. And most importantly, prepare yourself for the cold temperatures. We will be in the 20s today, dropping to the teens overnight. And that is just the air temperature. You have to factor in the wind, and that is creating dangerously low wind chills. So we have a wind chill warning in effect until noon tomorrow. Wind chills as low as negative 10 degrees. You're risking frostbite and hypothermia in less than 15 minutes if you're going out and you're not appropriately dressed. So how do you stay warm? Dress in layers. You need at least four layers on top, two layers at the bottom. That would be the minimum that I would suggest. Temperatures right now in the teens, they actually feel much colder than that because the winds are gusting to 26 miles per hour at Bush Airport, 30 in Sugarland, and 32 miles per hour at the coast. So this is the feel like temperature, the wind chill, uh, six degrees at Bush Airport, 16 in Katy, one degree in Conroe. So those dramatically low wind chill factors will be continuing overnight. Now, actual air temperatures could be getting into record breaking territory. So going into tomorrow morning, that's going to be the coldest air that we feel. This is one of the lower forecasts coming in from the GFS model, possibly as low as eight degrees at Bush Airport, negative one for an actual air temperature in Brenham. Now, a couple things that could help us out. If we can keep a little bit of cloud cover and also a light breeze to mix the air, that would keep those overnight temperatures in the teens, which is possible. But no matter how you slice it, 17 degrees, 15 degrees, or eight degrees, that is temperatures that are very, very low. So you need to make sure that you keep your family safe and warm. That cold air is going to be taking over. It's the main story all the way through Tuesday. We do not get above freezing until Tuesday afternoon, and that above freezing is going to be for a couple hours. Then we're right back down to the freezer, and we have another weather system on the way for Wednesday. So heading into Wednesday, we'll have a little more mild air at the coast, but as the precipitation starts, we're still below freezing here in Houston, so it's going to start as sleet, and then as we go throughout the day, that mild air pushes north of I-10. So we will likely cross over to a cold rainfall in the metro area, but look at our north counties. It stays pretty icy. So there's the potential that our north counties stay as sleet and freezing rain for this Wednesday event. And that would be compounded on top of that three inches of snow and ice that's sitting over Walker County and Montgomery County right now. So we'll have to watch it very closely again in the metro area. Looks like it will start as sleet and then cross over to very cold rainfall, which hopefully could, you know, wash away some of this snow. Because honestly, the snow and ice that's out there right now, it's going to stay there for quite some time. And even with TxDOT working so hard, you're still going to have that thin layer of ice staying on the road. So be extremely careful driving. Overnight tonight, coldest air that we're going to feel again down to the single digits as possible then on Wednesday we start with freezing temperatures some sleep moving through but it transfers to a cold rainfall with temperatures in the low 40s on Wednesday then we have another snap freeze Thursday and Friday morning below freezing with a hard freeze Thursday night into Friday morning and then we finally start to dig ourselves out of this cold weather and we will be back to the 60s by Saturday and Sunday stay with us we're going to take you on a tour with all of our reporters coming up next